What's your guilty pleasure? Watching K-pop groups YouTube videos where they play games or go on trips. They spend so much time together that they become close friends, so it always makes me happy to watch because they're so silly. Like there was a Blackpink video where the loser of the game had to carry the winner down the street, so she's screaming go faster, don't stop while the other one looks like she's ready to collapse. I don't listen to the music BTW. When I'm home alone, sometimes I've watched old shows from my youth like Yo! It Gabba Gabba and Todd World because they're both very nostalgic and I like their animation styles. I think watching Todd World as a kid is why I got into Flash animation and Yo! Gabba Gabba is also why I like electronic music. I'm definitely gonna show them to my future children and I totally recommend both shows to anyone with young kids. Indian food and wine. Books. Cozy blankets. Mindlessly strolling bookstores, Target, and TJ Maxx. Chipotle. Good coffee. When there are a ton of snacky plates and appetizers. Going from fitted clothes to super comfies. Cute clothes. Toddler slang when my youngest wants me to snuggle he says, let me get in there conversations that keep you captivated. Laughing at videos online. Watching pro wrestling. When I watch it I am fascinated by the depths of the physical pain these people put themselves through. The way the production team portrays their product through camera angles. The type of interaction they receive from the crowd. Yes it's predetermined but even if I was told who the winner of the match is I still want to see how they produce this event. I DK if it's a guilty pleasure, but other than binge watching and gaming, I get most of my social fulfillment by engaging with ASMR and just chatting art cozy gamer streamers, on Twitch and talking to them on Discord. Laughably bad horror movies, is definitely guilty pleasure. Edit and cooked cookie dough 3. Gotta live dangerously somehow. Watching those ear wax removal of videos and sinus rinses. It's so disgusting but so satisfying cause I know that person just feels great. Especially when there's so much ear wax that the doctor has to be super gentle, so it just edges you until it's finally out. And then you get to see that big ear wax ball on the tissue as a reward. At least once a day, watching the CF and M scene in Young Blood, where Dean and Jesse first meet. Rob Lowe looks so attractive there, and I find it very exciting to have the male be the sex object for Jesse's pleasure, for a change. Then their love scene later is beautiful, and I watch that, too. It could be a favorite TV show, a sugary snack, or a cheesy pop song something that might be frowned upon by serious grown-ups. Guilty pleasures are personal and often associated with simple pleasures that make you happy even if they're not widely praised. Occasionally I love to just confidently say and defend, to the death, things that are wrong on a post just to annoy people. Always harmless things, like sharks are actually mammals because some of them have lit pups I know I'm wrong but it can be so fun. Sometimes I go to top of the building and observe people on the road's face expressions, mode of transport, how fast they are going, with how many people they are traveling. What are they carrying and guess what is the purpose of their travel? Super gay house music from the late 80s and 90s. Gayer sounding the better. Send me Rex. For reference I lift heavy weight, box, kickbox. I wear a big black durable boots, flannels and can drink most of my friends under the table. Sneaking extra cheese samples at the grocery store when no one is looking. Whole Foods is always putting out my favorite Gouda cheese samples. You better believe I am not leaving the store after only one sample. Silence. As soon as my husband leaves for work, I turn off the TV and decompress. It's amazing. Then, after a while, I'll listen to an audiobook and crochet. I did so for four hours tonight. It was magnificent, smiling face with hearts. I don't masturbate to normal porn anymore. I have a crush on a content creator named Vinny Vine Sauce and so I have a YouTube playlist of him making questionable noises that I listen to while I flip the bean. At the end of work, I pull into my driveway and just sit there in the silence for a couple of minutes before heading in. I feel this allows me to let go of all the stress of the day before resuming home life. Discovering Narcos TV show and soundtrack and ending up in a rabbit hole of cartel narcorito music and old Latino romance songs. It's okay cause I'm just being a poser. I don't fully understand the language. Lottery tickets every once in a while. My dad calls it a stupid tax. But it helps me imagine nice things I could do for people. Woman in STEM. Pitbull Rescue Farm. I got a million of them. Splurging on a package of crab legs at Costco, melting a little butter, and eating the whole thing in one sitting as soon as I get home with an assist from my first grader and toddler. A day at a spa. I haven't done it in some time but there is nothing better than the pure silence, maybe a hiss of steam. 
the hot and cold rooms, maybe a massage and a body scrub. Oh god, pizza pops. I'm a decent cook, and my husband is rapidly improving in the kitchen, so I have no excuse. But, sometimes the teenager in me comes to the front and demands garbage food. NSFW subs. Not because I'm obsessed with masturbating or anything, I just find the female body beautiful and love looking at the beauty in so many different types of women. OMG I guess my guilty pleasure isn't something I'm going to write about. Mine was downright dirty and nasty. And the best you people can talk about is TV and cats, fast food. Little bit but every single day. And I'm still somewhat young, so I'm gonna f up my health too. That's what makes a guilty pleasure. Dining at a good foodie restaurant at the pass and maybe talking with the chef because they appreciate that I appreciate how good their food is. Hot take I don't feel guilty about things I take pleasure in. But if I had to choose one, probably criminal minds. Such alluring propaganda. Fanfic reading writing. I love putting on makeup even if I'm just gonna be around the house for the entire day. It feels good to look pretty egg. Watching not scary but funny scary movies with my best friend in theaters on school nights. It just makes the homework easier to do. The black eyed peas on poopy days I crank them up in the car and it gets me going. M30, with 4 foot dreadlocks, metalhead for context. Rosario Vampire. I just want a strong woman to love me. But I am awful. So I'll find some other way to pretend I'm not miserable egg. Frameworks makes some cool Overwatch fan animations on YouTube. I find it pretty entertaining but I never told anyone I watched that. Soft pretzels or tortilla chips with a bright yellow nacho cheese. No way it's real cheese, but it's such a guilty pleasure. Dancing for hours to the same 10 songs like a fucking badass and having no one in my real life know about my insane dance skills. Making goofy faces in grocery stores at children that are too young to express themselves while their parents aren't looking. Making goofy faces in grocery stores at children that are too young to express themselves while their parents aren't looking. Pizza on a Friday night. Probably the worst thing I can get in this day of carbs and calories but it makes me nostalgic. Watching Indian soap operas not in a sarcastic making fun of it kind of way I just like it. I am a 28 year old man. Food. I am an emotional eater. I am trying to control it and reduce my weight hope I will achieve it eventually. Watching YouTube. I've liked over 5000 videos twice now two different accounts. I watch it to help me sleep. Those airplane disaster shows. It's so interesting to me even though most of the time they're literal tragedies. Richard Marks. I guess I just don't look like the sort of person who would enjoy his music. Coritos, Banda, in coke and powder form. I stay as far away from it as I can for obvious reasons. LOL. Drinking any leftover salsa, that I get from Mexican restaurants, out of the little cups. Salsa shots. Worthwhile YouTube. Tom Holland vs. Stacey Grayling on whether Christianity brought anything new. It does. Hardcore up-tempo music. If you want to look it up, I'll guide you. But it's really not for everyone. Binge watching The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and Married at First Sight. I like trash TV. Living in the Sunlight by Tiny Tim. It always put a smile on my face but everyone hates that song. Getting out the shower, coming into a clean room and eating while watching my favorite show. LOL. Chocolate milk. I go out of my way to try new ones, but I also regularly sample my favorites. Fry's Ranch has to be restaurant style ranch and fries have to be hella crispy and seasoned. Technology that is screens and play music. Just decompresses me and takes my mind off stuff. Whenever my mom makes me mad I secretly do something that it would piss her off even more. A movie called The Prince and Me Staring Julia Stiles. That movie makes me happy I'd cry. Ramen noodles no nutritional value at all and Snickers bars at least they have peanuts. Watching reality TV not that all reality TV shows are bad. Althos them are really trashy. Eating dumplings while watching anime and getting so hooked into it that I ignore studying. Watching pimple popping videos. Not the clean, medical ones but the gnarly, home pops. A big mug of Nestle's quick and hot milk before bed. Puts me to sleep every night. Sweets. Sometimes I'll fill a cart with snacks and candy even though I am over 30. Pudding ketchup, mayo and mustard and sauce is English, Arab, pepper on pizza. Kissing and cuddling my pillow. Yes I am pathetic, no need to remind me of it. Naps on the couch. It must be on the couch in the middle of day on the weekend. Three fingers of 12 year old McAllen scotch after wife and kids are in bed. Staying up all night binging every movie horror known to man because I can. First, Omega vs. Fanfics. 
Second go soap, fanfic the more ungodly the better. Buying plastic straws whenever I'm in Asia and bringing them home to use. Eating drinking a whole can of condensed milk while your diabetes is waving, waving. Nut butter stuffed dates w dark chocolate and finishing salt on top. 90 day fiancé franchise, I can't resist the train wreck relationships. Drinking alone, I find it relaxing but it is apparently frowned upon. Drinking alone. I find it relaxing but it is apparently frowned upon. Peanut butter and nuts berry farm strawberry preserves sandwiches. Disney Pixar movies. Coco is my all-time favorite. Also Crystal Myth. Going places alone rather than friends family the top tier for me. Vinny Mocha cookie crumble frappuccino. If you know you know. Light cycles of steroids. Love them one good cycle per year. Eating sour cream with lime juice. Also. Just eating limes. Romantic audiobooks especially those by Mariana Zapata. After I put my kids to bed I always have an ice cream. Chocolate oranges. Ken and will eat them year round. The song I Love You Always Forever by Donna Lewis. Eating two bowls of cereal whenever the chance pops up. Spending more money on my BJDs than I do on myself.